Ahoy hoy, I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we have to talk about something serious. Dr. Bright. When the site first started, there were a ton of authors who created characters that were named after themselves. The original author avatars, the Dr. Clefs, the Dr. Kondrakis, the Dr. Gears, the Dr. Brights. And unlike today, there was a unified canon back then, so what Dr. Bright did in one story carried over to what happened in the next story, and so on. But the important part for this video is that the characters also were sharing names with the authors. And all of those people that I just named had hands in administrating the site from an early time. They were here in the beginning, and they were here for many years afterwards. Some of them are still around, most of them with no problems whatsoever. Uh, first of all, I just want to be clear that the discussion I'm talking about today only applies to Dr. Bright and anybody else's names you see up here. You can make any judgments you want to from the information that I provide you. Let's put it that way. But really, we're just talking about Bright today. If I mention anybody else, it's only for historical context. And if I'm being fully transparent before we get started, I have personally interacted with Dr. Bright on several occasions. Um... And most of those have been fairly positive reactions. But what we're going to talk about today is a series of behaviors that are not just troubling, but uh, downright objectionable. Um, and I can't speak personally to any of this. The weirdest things I've seen from Dr. Bright when I was in staff chat was uh, posting pictures from uh, uh, certain conventions that I will not uh, explain more than that, but certain conventions that were inappropriate for uh, a professional or uh, private environment, which people weren't expecting it in. Let's put it that way. But by and large, most of my interactions with Bright were uh, positive or neutral, not negative. Um, so why do we need to talk about Dr. Bright? Well, like I said, there's some stuff that's come out recently that has been... Um, been boiling under the surface for a while but no we've never been able to put a finger on the problem and now i think we can uh and i'm just going to state here so we can get started that dr bright has been banned from the scp wiki uh effective immediately technically bright was banned for six months already for uh certain secretive reasons uh <laughs> which we could maybe talk about another time about how the uh, anti-harassment team's secrecy tends to lend itself to supporting um, uh, bad behaviors rather than stopping them. Uh, and we'll talk about this as it comes up as well, but Dr. Bright has gone by uh, at least three nicknames that I'm aware of, uh, different pseudonyms, during Bright's time on the SCP Wiki, uh, including Dr. Bright, Edmund Bright, and the Duckman. Specifically now, I believe Edmund Bright is the correct, uh, uh, the correct name. Um, we should probably step back to 2020, um, May 3rd specifically, when uh, Bright resigned from the SCP Wiki staff and just generally went into hiding. I, and then, uh, that puts on a negative connotation. It's probably not accurate for the time. Um, disappeared, pretty much. Uh, but before we continue there's probably need for a content warning. Now, I'm going to tell you right now that there's a content warning for uh, stuff that I'm not going to describe yet. Uh, if you'd like to just tune out on the idea that there could be something that bothers you, now would be the time. It's going to be content involving... Um, so let me get this exactly correct. We're going to be talking about Dr. Bright, the author, in the context of the exploitation of a position of authority in return for, let's say, behavior and messages of a sexual nature. And we're not going to be going into anything too deeply sexual, but this is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people, and I want to make sure that everybody is fully informed about what's about to be discussed before we discuss it. Dr. Bright was banned for some, I'm going to clearly say from, in my opinion, exceedingly creepy behavior, and uh, we're going to talk about that behavior. Now, what I have is fairly extensive, but not complete in the realm of, like, absolute proof. Some of it is hearsay. Some of it's stuff I've heard from other people. Some of it's stuff I've heard from other people who heard it from other people. But I have enough information in front of me that I can concretely 
look at and I have enough uh, references from just secondhand, not thirdhand, but secondhand information as to make a determination that the vast majority of this seems to be true. How much of it is exactly true is beyond me. I'm not making any uh, claims as to the correctness. I'm merely presenting the information for you to make a decision of your own. But before we get started, and I know this is a big preface, um, if you think that this is nonsense, that's fine. I disagree with you, but that's fine. But leave staff, leave the victims alone, leave Bright alone, to be honest with you. And if you don't think it's nonsense, if you think it's a serious issue, still leave Bright alone. Honestly, this is not a, a call to action. This is not me telling you you need to go out and, you know, witch hunt anybody. Don't do those things. That is bad. That is just bad behavior in general. It's not up to you. It's not your decision. It's not your plot. Just stay away. That's the whole point of any of this. Just stay away from these kinds of people who are willing to exploit others. So let's read the ban message that was put up on the SCP Wiki's 05 forums. Uh, the entire, I'm not going to give names where they're not necessary for context. So in this particular case, it's not. This is just a generic uh, person who is reporting that the ban has been enacted. Uh, the anti-harassment team received an omnibus report regarding actions at Men Bright carried out while they were SCP Wiki staff. This report contained some evidence previously seen by anti-harassment team, and it also contained new material either previously not seen or which went uncorrelated. The team thoroughly examined the claims made by the report and conducted our own investigation into these events as well as the surrounding circumstances. It is our determination that Edmund Bright acted in a manner that was both deeply inappropriate and well beyond the lines drawn by sites, the site's harassment policy. In conclusion, Edmund Bright is to receive a permanent harassment ban for violation of the following clauses of the policy. Unwelcome sexual attention, including sending users sexual images, pressuring sexual discussion or interaction, or repeated unwanted flirting. Repeated inappropriate social contact, such as requesting and assuming inappropriate levels of intimacy with others, or encouraging any of the behaviors defined by the harassment policy. Those are the things that are listed here. Um, it's fairly generic, and that's the reason why I feel like we really need to get into this, because it's very easy to look at this and just go, I don't believe it. So let's start with some context. Edmund Bright is older than I am. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm particularly old, though this beard gives me a good, uh, it makes me look like I'm in my early 40s, or maybe hope, in, in, in a dream, my late 30s, but <laughs> it's probably closer to 40s or 50s. 40s-ish, let's put it that way. When it gets real long and bushy, then I'm look like I'm in my 40s. Um, but according to Edmund Bright, he, this person is older than me by about four years. Um, that would mean at the founding of the SCP Wiki, Edmund Bright was... I'm trying to think real quick. Uh, 28... Late 20s, let's put it that way, 27, 28, I think late 20s, L mid to late 20s at, at the earliest. So this is a fully grown adult once when the wiki is just becoming a thing. So when we talk about the behaviors here, no matter when they took place, it's because they all took place after the formation of the wiki, they all took place with someone who was in their late 20s, 30s, and now 41 years old. This the person... We're talking about resigned in 2020. That would have put them 39. So a full-grown adult. This isn't some child or early 20s kid who made some mistakes and doesn't understand how the world works or late teens person who similarly. This is an adult. Being an adult. And being the only adult in the room in some cases. Doing bad things. And uh, this is the problem, really. Uh, we talked a little bit earlier about my personal interactions with Bright, but it is important to mention that for some of the time periods outlined here, I was a member of staff and a fairly high ranking one at that. I would have been a moderator in 2017 where some of the interactions that I'm going to outline actually took place. Um, I was a, a member of staff between the uh, years of 2016 and 2018, uh, roughly a little bit over two years, I think. 
Um, but personally do not recall. I can't say that this could have happened in front of me and maybe I somehow ignored it and I could, you never know, but I don't recall ever seeing anything seriously bad happening in chats that I was involved in, but I can't rule it out because memory is what it is. And this was a long time ago. Uh, but in a, and in a two year period, who knows, but it's important to give that as context that I, you know, was here for some of this. Uh, and when we talk about personal, like, you know, secondhand information, I have talked to numerous people who have said that they have had not necessarily inappropriate, but gotten very creepy vibes off of Dr. Bright before any of this stuff came out. It's just a thing that has been known for a very long time. Dr. Bright gives off creepy old man vibes was, I believe, the exact phrasing that the last person I talked to uh, said. Um, and this is me reporting something somebody else said to me, so keep that in mind. But I'm telling you that this is a pretty commonly understood and known thing. We're going to work our way backwards starting in 2020 and see what we can get uh, get to eventually about this. Uh, in 2020, Dr. Bright resigned from staff, but this was not an incident that happened in isolation. See, staff was discussing behind the scenes, and we'll say we'll save for a second the reasons why, but they were discussing behind the scenes... Uh, a sort of divorcing of your names on the SCP wiki, if you were a member of staff, um, from usage on social media sites that involved sexual messaging or content, or contact even. Uh, and this was happening with uh, Bright, specifically, um, on a social media site called Fet life and we're not going to talk too much about it but it's a social me let me read the exact description i wrote down because i don't want to get this wrong um a social media site focused on fetishes mostly of a sexual nature again not going to go into specifics but this is a very adult space and it isn't just for communications but also for scheduling meetups and uh and group events of sorts um um this is important <laughs> that you understand that this isn't just messaging even. This is the potential for physical interactions. It's still there for this. And Dr. Bright was uh, reportedly, I couldn't find screenshots of this, but reportedly using Bright's name and position on the SCP Wiki um, as a sort of encouragement to get people to interact with Bright on this site. I'm not trying to indict somebody's fetishes or kink shame anybody. We're not going to talk about any specifics on that for obvious reasons. But the important part to understand is that uh, this is a site. It has. I, I, I'm reiterating it because it needs to be made very clear that this is a site in which people have not safe for work interactions. They send nudes. They send... Uh, meetup locations, they make meetups, they have, you know, events where people can uh, come together. Uh, this is a thing. And when you use your name and authority as an SCP wiki administrator in such spaces, you are running the risk, and I do say risk, of somebody recognizing you. It's not a good thing if they recognize you, because if somebody is incentivized to do something they wouldn't have done otherwise without your authority and name as, you know, a semi minor Internet celebrity involved, um, then they shouldn't do it and you shouldn't want them to do it. I, that, that seems like pretty clear to me. Um, unfortunately, Bright seems to have a different opinion on this particular topic. You might be saying to yourself, well, I bet this never turned into a real thing, but I have, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over a conversation here, uh, and I'll put up on the screen a version of it that I have. I have multiple, <laughs> I actually managed to pick up multiple sources on this, but, uh, one of them is a little bit more clear than the other. Um, but I have, uh, an image I can show you of this conversation, um, between uh, three people, it's going to be Dr. Clef, A Random Day, and Admin Bright. Um, and I'm using those names here, but uh, specifically, some people call A Random Day Ard. Um, in this particular conversation, uh, A Random Day is using the name Truffles, which is another known pseudonym. Um, and Admin Bright, I believe, is using the Duckman. Dr. Clef, hey Duckman, you're my hero. You have lots of sex and do red and fair. The Duckman. Why? 
because I keep getting people to send me nudes by talking to them about the SCP Foundation. Truffles. The Duckman. Who are you talking to that sends you nudes when you tell them about the SCP Foundation? Clef. Oh shit, Duckman. You didn't tell them about how SCP got you laid? The Duckman. I was flirting with a girl from OkCupid, and when I told her I was bright, I got invited to spend the night with her and her wife. And recently, someone from the SCP Foundation Facebook friended me and has been sending me nudes. Now, trust me, we're going to have to circle back to the nudes thing. That's actually the primary thrust of this uh, particular video, I think. Uh, but there is a lot of troubling behavior here, and of course, there's troubling... Like, this is the thing. When you're dealing with kids, teenagers, they're going to see this kind of behavior and be like, Oh my god, that is so cool. Uh, but adults should know better than this. That's all I'm saying. And maybe this is idle bragging. Maybe this isn't real. But the fact that Bright thought this was something to brag about speaks to a certain mindset. This is pretty simple stuff. Saying, I'm Dr. Bright on the SCP Wiki in an online space where there is potential sexual contact of either a physical or virtual nature is wrong because... Being an administrator of the SCP Wiki, especially in an, especially with an audience that skews so young, it, and you know this, you just know it. You can't not know it. You're not. The, Brett is not an idiot. Brett has to know that this is true. So knowing that, and still doing these things, is just an abuse of power to a level that is unacceptable. Now, one could argue that this is just slightly creepy behavior, right? What we're going to do here is we're going to go over three different victim reports. I'm not going to name the victims of these reports. Uh, they're going to be victim A, victim B, and victim C. In these reports, you will, and I have the uncensored versions of these. I know the names of these people, or not all of them, I think, but I know the names of some of these people, and I know the names of some of the other people behind these. Um, and I trust that these are true from context and also because there's just so many of them so let's start with <sighs> victim a yeah it's been a really really long time and i apologize i don't have logs or the best memory and this was some nine to ten years ago but when i was 15 or 16 i decided i wanted to be a user and wrote for the scp wiki and joined the irc to talk to the writers there so i could make some friends maybe learning a thing or two you know how it goes aspiring kid wanting to meet their heroes etc etc but me being an idiot kid i couldn't figure out how to sign up for the wiki and i took to messaging bright about it because i was like hey help and it should be important to realize uh that at this time on the uh, on the join page it actually said to contact bright if you were having problems with joining the scp wiki so this wasn't out of nowhere uh, and his was the only name I recognized in the IRC at the time anyway. I spoke to him and I distinctly remember getting this massively like dirty old man vibe from him. Like I didn't think it was weird at the time. But the way he talked to me, especially after I posted a selfie in the chat, was really, really predatory and weird. Stuff like pet names and making sexual comments directed at me and complimenting me in ways that you really shouldn't compliment a minor. I'm 90% sure there was at least one tentacle hentai joke in there, but I could be mistaken. It was a bad period of my life where I went through the hands of four different groomers, it all blends together, but he would like hit on me, very clearly knowing my age because I told him. I didn't do anything with him or anything, so I really, I guess, narrowly avoided that, but I definitely almost did, and he definitely preyed on me and used my naivety against me, like I was just a kid. So let's move on to the second victim statement here. God, if Bright did this like now to back up here, like I'm kind of neutral on Bright too in the grand scheme of things. I wrote blank with his characters in high school and we were in a couple of chats now and then, but he had some weird interactions with not safe for work stuff, for instance. One of the chats we were in was a Discord server when I was in high school. My friends and I were psyched that a real administrator was in with us. I was 17 at the time, and the ages of the other people ranged from around 14 to 18 and 19. Anyway, one day we were talking, and we didn't talk much because obviously a group of teenagers and a middle-aged man in his mid-40s, I think that's a little bit, they've got the age wrong here, he'd have been in his mid-30s at the time, with two wives have very different lives and approaches to consuming and creating content. But he started talking about his sex stuff with his wives. We all got kind of uncomfortable. One of the younger members who was 14 
was like, ugh, there are miners in this chat, lol. And I was also like, hey, uh, there are miners here, laugh out loud, <laughs> LMAO. Like, I'm literally a miner. Everyone here is a miner. And he just kind of kept going. I mentioned it offhandedly in the SCP podcast server over voice call once. And the general response was, oh, yeah, Bright just does that. Like, moral of the story is, I don't know. God, I can't say I'm surprised. This is somebody else responding. Can't say I'm surprised because I brought up my worries to Dex a note about him. And his response was, I trust Bright. But yeah, he did used to ask female site members for nudes and stuff. I mean, let's not forget when he turned 50. It's This is incorrect. It was when he turned 36. And he said, for my birthday, I want to see naked pictures of you guys. Naked pictures make me happy. No sexual stuff. This, which is a real thing that happened. I have screenshots of that for later. Uh, but let's talk about victim C real quick, which is very short. Uh, and this is less a victim report and more of just straight up something that was found in chat. Um, the person saying, I'm a stupid teenager. The Duckman. You're only as old as who you feel. Dot, dot, dot. Gropes. And this is groping. Uh, the nickname here that's blocked out is a nickname for the person that's fully. I know the names that are on this. Much better. So, Yeah. They're not the only pieces of evidence I have access to, but they're the three that I thought best presented the problem. And again, you keep seeing the nudes thing pop up, and there's a reason for that. It's important to conceptualize what these people are going through. They are, some of them, not some of them, all of them are kids of some degree of age below the age of 18. And every single one of them is just excited to death to see Dr. Bright there, right? This is Dr. Bright. This is the person that we've we've read about in stories. We've seen the list. Dr. Bright's not allowed to do this and that at the foundation. And yet, Bright is taking advantage of people. So now let's circle back to the nude pictures problem. In May of 2012, the SCP Wiki's admissions process involved uh, a, a much more simplified thing. It was just a page that Bright mostly handled as an administrative function, uh, solely almost. Uh, at the time, it, it got out of hand after a certain amount of applications started getting to be too much. But at the time, it was a one person show. It's the reason why uh, contacting Bright about your application at the time was the right thing to do. Well, according to the, the join page. So let me show you something that was on the page in May of 2012. Uh, and you can see, you know, basic stuff here. These are the read those pages, read all this other stuff and at the very bottom. Humorous note, don't forget naked self pictures and monetary donations are always welcome and may help process your application. This was on the join page. This wasn't on the join page for a day or a week or a month. It wasn't on the join page for just a year. It was on the join page from May 2012 until June of 2013. And it wasn't idle. It's not meaningless people sent uh, or at least a person for sure confirmed sent nude pictures worse yet there was conversations behind the scenes about how this one person sending nude pictures was probably a good idea of we should get rid of this they were pretty sure that the person that had sent nude pictures was sent had sent just pictures they'd found on the internet however the fact that they had done that meant that you know maybe we should get rid of this humorous note let's put quotation marks around the word humorous here uh, and, you know, maybe it's not as funny as you think it is. Uh, so they footnoted it instead. They couldn't they couldn't bring themselves to delete it. So they footnoted it instead uh, with something along the lines that said, you know, uh, doing this is likely to get you declined. So don't do it uh, until Bright came along and removed that edit. And everything went back to the way it was until, again, June of uh, 2013. The idea was it only happened once. So it's not a problem. It didn't just happen once, by the way. Um, I've looked uh, through some uh, logs where people are complaining about it happening multiple times um, by the end. Anyway, when the page itself was revamped completely, uh, that line was finally taken out. But this is the core of the problem. Let's forget about, you know, the grooming problem, which is, uh, I feel like we shouldn't forget about it. But even if we put that aside for a moment, the nude pictures thing is a common, common thread for Dr. Bright, the author, I should say, of Dr. Bright. And we have 
information on the discussions that went on behind the scenes for this. Um, let's open up the chat real quick. This is the one that led to the original footnote. Uh, so we get, we got an app with nude pics. Why? Because Bright, I'm reading from the yellow lines here. Bright made a joke on the join page that nudes will get you in. So this isn't theoretical. This is a thing that happened. And there are other notes from other conversations that someone else may have been applying multiple times with multiple nude pictures. But we're not done still, it seems. This isn't a problem that has gone away. It's not a problem that it's a problem that's been consistent since at least 2009. Uh, at the earliest time I can find exact proof of it. And as recently as 2017, which is not that long ago. Just saying. Um, so let's take a look at some of those images real quick. Uh, this is from uh, Bright's Tumblr page, which is, or I'm sorry, not is, but was at the time connected to the official SCP Wiki uh, Tumblr because Bright was the one that was running it. So Bright ran both, and having the name connected uh, meant that they could, that people could find this very clearly from an official SCP Wiki page. Um, and this is the thing that was talked about earlier. So I didn't actually read the first line and now I'm creeped out even more. <sighs> so for those of you who have noticed tomorrow is my 36th, I think bright mint birthday there. I am twice 18, doubly a legal adult and able to run for president. That was true when you were 35, but whatever. In lieu of birthday wishes, I have two requests. Come out and play with us at Clash of Ages and Birch Run, or if not. But two is, here, here we go back to it. I would appreciate topless photos of yourself or your significant other, whatever. It's a thing that makes me happy. They are for my own personal smiling. I would love to see my Tumblr messenger flooded with sexy selfies. Another line. 2009. Joy, I found a comment of yours on the wiki from 2009 when you asked the girl for nudes or implied it. Answer? Probably. And then there's some important stuff here that comes from staff. Treating it like it's not a big deal. Dexanote. The Duckman's grown up. We're all aware of this. Imlister. Joy. Wow. Sure got him. I mean, you could um, argue that that's not sarcastic, but it seems very much like it's sarcastic. Um, yeah. Which is a, uh, a common thread through this, is that staff know that this is a thing, and but they believe that Bright has grown, even though it's clearly not true. Uh, let's move on to this one. Uh, just a random comment. I need more friends who randomly send me nudes, or even sexy pics. Ah, well. And I another one from Twitter. Send lewds if you wanna, I could use a cheer up. And yes, this is me consenting to them. And on and on and on. You could just keep going. Like, the nude pictures thing is just a, such a frequent and common thing that it's not even really arguable. The rest of it maybe you could argue against, but the constant usage of uh, the name and authority of an administrator to request nudes in a community where the average age is certainly below 18 is horrifying. If you don't see a pattern of behavior to this, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, honestly, and I have more that I could be looking at, but I'm g trying to keep this thing short, for lack of a better way to put it. So where does this leave us? And why is this being brought up now? Well, first of all, there was the ban. But there's also the fact that people start going after people who aren't bright based on their names, because Dr. Bright is an incredibly popular character, almost iconic for the SCP Wiki, possibly the most iconic character on the SCP Wiki. And people use that name, you know, people use that as in chats. They use it for on TikTok as part of their personality or, or stuff that they do. It's it's everywhere, right? You have this everywhere, so you can't. Like, you can't, you can be angry about it. I, I completely give you that. Absolutely be angry about it. But you can't be angry at everyone who has, you can't be angry at the character, right? You need to be angry at the author. And if that spills over, there is something to be said. I, I, it's really a complex situation here. There's something to be said. If you're a victim 
of Dr. Bry. I use the word victim here because that's accurate, I think. Someone who has been exploited by this person. If you're a victim, I can, I can understand where you're coming from. Although I don't think you should go after people who are unassociated simply based on a name. There, it just simply has to be understood that Dr. Bright, the character, is bigger than the author. There are 165 articles on the SCP Wiki that include Dr. Bright, the character. Uh, only 16 of those, less than 10%, I think it's 9.7%, were written by the author, Dr. Bright. So the character is wildly larger than the author is. Period, right? And there is something to be said for the fact that the, I believe the author is actually kind of annoyed that Dr. Bright, the character, is the one thing they're known for. Um, so, you know, keep annoying them. Um, it's not going to go away. New readers on the SCP Wiki are always going to go back. I mean, unless we delete all of the old stuff and some of the new stuff, it's not going to go away. People are still going to create. People are still going to... So the only thing we can do as a responsible community is to, one, make sure everyone knows that this stuff happened and to avoid the person, Dr. Bright, the author, while at the same time understanding that the character is s divorced from it and take it back for ourselves. That's the only thing we can do because it's not going to go away. No matter how angry or sad or, you know, annoyed we are at seeing it, it's going to continue. And if it's going to continue, you have to live in the reality that of things that are rather than the reality that you want things to be. So how do we deal with it then? We take it back. We make it something different. We make it ours. I think that's the only solution. And I wish there were better solutions. I wish she could be. I wish Dr. Bright, the character, could be wiped from the wiki forever. But it's just not possible. Period. I don't, or at least I don't think it's possible. So this is what we're left with. And this was inspired specifically because there was an online creator, a TikToker, I believe, who used the Dr. Bright persona and was getting hate messages about it and being accused of being an abuser and all these other things. No. Like, and this is something that I, I point out to people all the time. Don't make yourself into a bad person while trying to be a good person. Like getting so caught up in your own self-righteousness that you think it's OK to hurt people just because you've been hurt or you think that someone has hurt someone else. Find out who these people are before you just immediately go after them like that. It's wrong. It hurts people and it's unnecessary. You're not going to be much. I mean, you're not going to solve the problem by being a worse person. Anyway, that's it. I, I know this was very serious, but it's one of those things where it's like, it, it, I want people to be able to have at least some central resource that they can, that's somewhat well organized and documented that they can go to and say, this is why you shouldn't be around Dr. Bright. This is why you shouldn't communicate with Dr. Bright. This is why you shouldn't, um, this is why you should understand, this is what you should understand about the author. Because it's too easy when the anti-harassment team puts up a, you know, a two paragraph thing summary uh, with just, you know, we think these things happened and there's no background for it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash DeSumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including... Sinjari, he was pledged at $100. On days like today, and this was really, really rough to put together because I had to go through some troubling stuff. Some stuff you haven't seen. It's even more troubling, uh, but I didn't feel like it was necessary to include. But I've gone through some troubling stuff, and it was just fucking all day, F today, and yesterday. I was going to put this video out on Tuesday, but I just didn't feel like I have enough information. But oh, it's been rough. So it's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. I will see you all again on Tuesday.